Hey guys, this is Kaz. I just wanted to do a quick video for anybody that might be interested in um, installing mods for Street Fighter V on PC but are a little intimidated by the process or think they might need to know more about modding than they actually do. Um, there's a nice program here by Fluffy Quick called Mod Manager that makes the system really automated and smooth. You don't have to open any files, you don't have to do any custom coding. Uh, it's super easy. So go ahead and download Mod Manager. It's just a zip file, it'll only take uh, a couple seconds. And extract that file anywhere you want. This is also the folder that you'll be downloading the mods to. And once you extract the zip file, it'll look like this. Now, I think by default it comes with a bunch of different game folders in here. I deleted all of them except for Street Fighter because that's all I'll be using it for. And you'll see a mods folder, click into that. And it should be empty by default. So these are all my installed mods here. And then go ahead and download a mod that you want. I'll do this uh, Harley Nuka for example. And you'll go ahead and save the zip file to the mods folder within the Street Fighter 5 folder that you just extracted. Once the zip file is done downloading, you just want to right click and do extract here. This will create its own folder for it, assuming uh, the mod has been packaged correctly. You can go ahead and delete the zip file, you won't need that anymore. And that's about it. You don't have to dig into the folder anymore, just open Mod Manager. You'll see Manage Mods up in the right hand corner. It'll list all of the mods that you have in that folder that you just uh, extracted that last zip file to. There's Harley Mika. It comes off by default, just click it once to, and then when it has the green check mark next to it, it means it's active. Click back to the menu, launch game. That's it, and it's just as easy to turn it back off. You just go back into manage mods, click it again so the check mark's not there, and it won't be in game. I encourage you guys to try it if you haven't done it yet, if you haven't tried any mods yet. It really uh, spices the game up and, and <laughs> makes it a lot of fun. Rainbow Mika. And there's new mods coming out like every week, so there's always new stuff to try out. And that's about it, guys. If you found the video helpful, give me a like or subscribe. And when Nabuki comes out at the end of the month here, I'll be doing a lot of custom colors for her. And the story mode will be on the same patch. I'm hoping story mode can incorporate all of our mods. I'm kind of thinking it has to for all the cutscenes and everything. And that would be awesome. So if that's the deal, then I'll be doing a full story video as well. Yeah, stay tuned. More mods coming. Later, guys.